I've got a couple of unusual musical toys I've had in my collection for many years. Very imaginative, too. It didn't work that well, but still, I've got some... Um, oh, I have to show them. It's a, it's a pair of gloves. There's one glove, and there's another glove. There's Behind it, there's, um, there's some batteries in there, so you know that you're in, in the world of electronic sounds, of course, and that's what it is. But there's little pressure pieces. Well, anyway, I'll put one on. The trouble is, this is... This is a kid's glove, you know, or kid glove. It's very hard to put on for me, so with my big hands, make big paws. But you have to put it all the way on because your fingertip has got to get to the top, otherwise it's not going to make it sound. I reach the very top about there, press it. Weird sound. There's nothing on the thumb. The thumb is, is music free, but you've got basically four notes there and then another four notes there. I won't put the other one on, that's a pain. And you've got pretty much an octave. And the idea is just to press them. Well, I can press them with my finger as well, with my thumb, I suppose. Quite a soft sound. You made me think that if you're going to be very clever and uh, you're musical, you can sit, sit with a keyboard, not with a piano sound, but with electronics and organ types of sound, sustained, that is. And when you push that down on the key, you're going to get two notes. You're going to get the note from here, whatever it is, that one's there, and you're going to get the note from the instrument. So you can start harmonising, depending on which finger you use, etc., etc. You have a lot of fun with these, actually. It's just a pity for me to be able to try them on. It's, it's really quite a, a business taking it on and off because it's so much smaller than my hand. For a small child, it's perfect. It's exactly set for them, etc. So there's lots of imaginative things that can come out of this, I think. I've only touched on them, but it's something that um, I'm very pleased to have in the collection, even if I hadn't made much use of it myself. Let me get this off. I had such fun playing with one of them, which had lost its connection there. I had to solder it on, but it was a bit of fun, but anyway. Glad to have done it. So musical gloves with all sorts of ideas that come to mind when you start thinking about them and just putting your hands together and making tunes, etc. You know, there's a lot of interesting things there. The second one is, um, well, I've got two of them, one without the uh, windmill top, but there's a musical box in there with a the thing, which I'm going to show you the finished one, which is that one there. There we are. There's a musical box in there, and that's an ordinary pinwheel, they call it, so I call it a windmill. When you make it in the air, you wave it in the air, it will play a well-known tune, of course. Yeah, happy birthday, as usual. Well, if I blow on it, with a bit of luck, I can make it perform without having to wave it, but it's hard going, actually. I want to play happy birthday to you. That's the first line. Halfway there. Ooh, making music was never so hard. What a nice idea, though. And of course, if you've got a windy corner on the veranda or the open window, you let the wind play, and it will play it automatically, which is much easier to do, etc. This one, I think, plays um, somewhere over the rainbow. I must fix it up sometime to hear another tune. So a very imaginative idea for putting a musical box onto a windmill. It's, one, it's done very nicely, that. And there's two little extra little bits and pieces. If you've come across these before, I've got a big version of this somewhere in my case, which I hardly ever pegged. But you're supposed to pull this or twist this or push that. When you pull that, it goes <coughs> electronic noises, of course. You push this. And then you're supposed to twist this, but that's not working for some reason or other. I looked inside, it's electronics, not mechanics. So you can still play with it after a fashion. Well, what I like the idea is it's functioning reasonably well and it's a much, much smaller size than the original, which is about this size originally, and you probably still see them around. The last item to show is just um, a hammer, which I completely forgotten about. I never looked at it. It's a, not a rubber hammer, it's plastic, and it's got batteries inside. You know, I hit my head with it. Yeah, breaking glass, here we go again. Breaking glass, that's one of those. At least it won't um, hurt the window too much because it's it's not soft, but it's not hard either. So a good one. So noise toys and musical toys. Um, still looking. <laughs>